What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna be bringing you through a parts rundown for this six liter iron block that we're gonna be building for our buddy Jason. He's gonna be throwing it into his 72 Chevelle, so stay tuned. Watch what all is going into this, and we'll see you in a second. So welcome back to the channel guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button go and throw this video a like if you could but me and tony are out here in the garage with his block i'm not allowed to touch it because i got greasy oily fingers and tony just primered it he's pretty proud of it aren't you bud no you're not proud of this at all yeah, i'm not proud until it gets some color on there you know yeah so just a quick little rundown on this um Jason's putting it into a 72 Chevelle. He got his 4L80 from me, and it's going to be controlled by a Phytec ECU standalone. Um, the colors we're kind of doing for this block, it's going to be a black block. Um, it's going to be a metallic paint. Uh, we don't really know front cover and uh, all that. Well, the valve covers, we know for sure, going to be black because the heads are going to be... Oh, yeah. These heads are going to be a metallic gold, which are going to be... Pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty yeah. freaking tool. So we can either do the front and rears black as well, or we could do gold. Either way, they're gonna be hidden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so Jason, he's wanting this to be a reliable motor. He's trusting us to have him get the right parts. Um. So basically, we're gonna bring this motor back to stock, which a lot of these things are like preventative maintenance things that we're doing slash making this thing 100 percent stock again but also add on a couple of performance yeah. parties and i mean honestly what we're doing just like what we do with our own builds is it it lets him still be able to do more in the future yeah so being able to grow is a huge part of any build but let's just start doing a rundown on all of this show you everything that's under that's going to be inside the motor and go from there really because it, it he's got a lot of nice little yeah. things for this oh yeah this yeah it's, it's gonna it's gonna get exciting guys yeah so start off this is just an lq4 block jason picked it up for a really good price um tony cleaned it up and is going through painting it making it look pretty because dude his chevelle is such a pretty color yeah uh so what we have right here some new cam bearings because the old ones were pretty shot, just basically yep. brass all around. New rod and main bearings just to freshen those up because the motor's apart. Uh, yeah. Using this really good engine assembly lube too. Getting gooey. Yeah, yeah, I really trust this stuff because if you don't wear gloves, it burns your hands. <laughs> so, <laughs> ask me how I know that. Got some new piston rings. Yeah, some new 6O rings, which will help. We'll have to go through when we do and bring you guys a video of this motor, show you how we're going to gap them um, and make sure they're all good. There. Yeah. Let, let, let me take a peek of that. Dude. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, ran a dingleberry home through it. Where is that dingleberry? Over there. Oh, okay. So, right, just so people that don't know. Yeah, so we were using like, oh yeah, we were using like a normal, just like plate honer, like stone, stone honer, which it's all right, but kind of gets worn down. These dingleberry hones, I mean, too. yeah, and they put a back. lot better cross hatching in there too. So <laughs> smoother action, less. Yeah. Because like with, the, with those tri stones or whatever you want to call it, they like to uh, if you go too far, you can hit the, uh, you know, uh, you can get in here past the cylinder. Well, that one, it really went in. I don't know. It's just really easy to use. I yeah. So <laughs> we're definitely going to be using that type of foam from now on in our engine builds. I mean, and you have to get unlike just the like normal stone one like this one can do anything that you really want like any size bore 
but the dingleberry hones they're specific for the bore size so it makes it for a lot better cross hatching and you know you're not gonna go too far i guess yeah and really it looks a lot better bore, and that's a four inch hone you really aren't gonna be taking off too much material at least i think so internal wise for this block though because we went through bearings king bearings clevite bearings molly piston rings uh we got plastic gauge right here just to make sure we do everything correct amundo um we had a little bit of a surprise when we tore it down i know we didn't get it on camera just because we were trying to start this with a bare setup a clean setup but we were thinking it was going to be Gen 3 internals, and it turned out to be Gen 4 internals. And those of you that don't know, Gen 4 is going to be um, a lot stronger. Yeah, so those are currently in the dishwasher right now getting cleaned yeah. correctly. But so I think that's a secret. So some people have wives, so just... Yeah, so don't, don't, tell, <laughs> don't tell anybody, but we're car guys. So these are things that we do. So it's going to be stock crank. Stock rods and pistons, but Jason's goals with this, he's really just trying to get a 400 to 500 yeah. horse NA, uh, NA motor just to go up. The 4L80 will take it. His rear end will take it. Uh, the, well, you, you said he has a 10 bolt rear end or whatever? Yeah. So all of that will handle. It will all be good. But now it's time to show you all the little more money pieces really yeah. that he got for this which so happy he did he did good uh, he was just excited to you know get the right stuff and yeah and make cool sure stuff. everything Not goes really good no complaints or anything like, he's a cool dude yeah so this is the swap oil pan that will go and fit the, uh, into a chevelle new pickup tube dual um hold down yeah. so that will be a lot better i mean Looks this cool yeah it's basically an f-body oil pan i don't know if tony wanted to paint it or not also good That's oil cool. pump with a melling pump melling. yeah uh, yeah take it out take it out give ooh, the people check it out yeah so ooh. he got a 295 pump so just a high volume pump make sure everything's good Looks good. Got the o rings in there. We got the yeah. uh, BTR LS9 gaskets. Yeah, that we were going to use on my Trailblazer, but never pulled the motor out and pulled the heads out to do the cam swap on that. And here, oh, dude, yeah. here is the big mamma jamma. Got a Phytech intake manifold to match the uh, standalone unit, I guess. So this will, I mean, this will fit in there and it looks a lot better than the stock truck intake manifold, but running that big, we got a. We gotta go pretty <laughs> big with this cable throttle body. Yeah. This thing will. As you guys can see, 102. And uh, this is a 102 Two. millimeter uh, intake manifold. So I mean, it's completely. There's no lip or anything. It's. It, it's gonna all be matching. perfect. Um, LS7 lifters in that yeah, oil soak box <laughs> with new trays. New gaskets. Uh, yeah, new gaskets. So this thing's going to be completely resealed. We got the barb from Michigan Motorsports. The you barbell know, for the shout back. out to the guys. Yes. And then some trays. Um, and then we head wanted, bolts. Yeah, we wanted him to get some ARP head bolts, but sent him the wrong link. And he got the Jags, which are like the same specs but it still should work out yeah and then for the parts that aren't here i mean oh yeah they that, that, that that's really what's going to set this build apart is because so right now jason has like a normal 350 that has a little cam yeah in it. To a 355. yeah so it, it's got a little bit of chop so it sounds really nice and his main goal was to have Keep. this still sound like that but we found some videos and we want to step further. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people, they went with, they go with like a 224R cam for their N8 builds, NA builds. So the step farther is a 228R. Um, and the shout out to the guys at Mission Motorsports for hooking us up on that. Uh, hey, yeah, if you go through them, it's a full kit. Um, the dual uh, springs, um, retainers, the seals, the push rods. Push rods yeah, for, for an awesome deal. So go check that out. Yeah, and they always have the best shipping. They get it yeah. there to you like Jason, stupidly Jason fast. Jason said, he said when, uh, he's like, how long do you guys think 
maybe a week or whatever. And I was like, no, like <laughs> two or three days. <laughs> yeah. So that should be in here soon. Um, that's really gonna set that apart. The chop, if you guys go and look anywhere for a 228R chop, dude, that cam sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's only a, like a five to seven horsepower gain from the 224. But the LSA is a lot more, which gives it that chop. And oh my goodness. I don't know. All the videos that I saw on it, it sounded amazing. Yeah. So we kind of just ran you guys through a rundown of what's all going in here. Uh, Jason may or may not be getting a stall converter because of that cam for the 4L80. Uh, we'll have to see on that. But, I mean, these are all high quality, very good parts to go and have a really good, reliable yeah. 400 to 500 horsepower LS. Um, still don't know what injectors we're debating on those right now because he's going to need EV1 injectors or EV6 injectors. So we'll see what Tony wants to do with that because we have a set of injectors around here we might just be hooking Jason up with. But other than that, guys, I mean, hit that subscribe button, throw that thumbs up, leave some comments if you guys think we should have gone with a different cam or something like that. <laughs> but as you can tell uh, before we get out of here, this is a part one video. Um, there might be quite a few parts of this build. So stay tuned. Stay with us. Guys, stay Tony, happy. Tony talks in an outro. I'm kind of happy now. <laughs> but other than that, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. We're going to be bringing you a lot more content other than just some rusted out Duramaxes, you know? Yeah, but they'll be back. <laughs> yeah, and the Trailblazer will be back soon, too. We're just getting this together for Jason. Um, and then, dude, yeah. too, too easy. Too easy. Yeah, boy. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Peace out.